What's up? It's your boy 978 Eric. I'm still working on an intro. I'm working on a catchphrase. I'm not trying to be like, um, I'm not trying to copy what uh, my idols or whatever. I call them my idol. Dude, these people, these personalities, these YouTubers, right? Um, I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them my idols, bro. That's kind of being a coattail rider. If you catch my drift. The word for that, I didn't, I didn't want to use the word coattail rider. But you can kind of put two and two together and know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm not trying to do any of that kind of riding stuff. Um, so, I want to develop my own thing, my own personality. Yeah, I might adopt some of the mannerisms and stuff from these channels that inspired me. Um, I eat Lockdown 23 and 1. And 1090 Jake, uh, I encourage anybody watching these videos uh, to go and check them out for real. Go and look at their channels, and they they got some stuff on there that's really entertaining, interesting, and all that. But let's get back to the subject at hand. This video, I'm gonna be talking about where I'm from. Where am I from? Who am I? Where am I from? Who, who is this dude? <laughs> who's, who's this guy talking to you right now? And I'm talking into a camera. I'm probably looking crazy right now. You know, my neighbors are probably hearing me through the freaking paper thin walls thinking like, what is this boy doing over here? My aunt and uncle and my cousins live over there. They rent this side to me. She be breaking into my house all the time. <laughs> for real, she used to break in every day to like wake me up. Wake up, wake up for work. But anyway, all right. Today's subject is where am I from? Who am I? You know, when somebody asks me, oh, yo, where you from? I honestly have to think about that question sometimes, man. Like, okay, I live in Lowell. I used to live in Westford. I lived in Nashua. Uh, I lived in, like, Boston area for a little bit. Um, where am I from? I'm from Lawrence. I'm from Lawrence, Massachusetts. That's where I was originally from. That's where I'm, I was born. But I guess, like, the way life went for me was, you know, I lived in Lawrence for a couple years. Then um, and me and my moms were like, yeah, we're tired of this. Uh, there's a lot of things going on in Lawrence back in 96, 7, 8 that um, certain people um, that I'm related to were involved in that um, didn't provide the safest situation for a child to be, uh, you know, raised around. And, you know, my mom took that into consideration, I guess. As far as I know, you know, we moved to, we moved out of there. Or she sent me to Puerto Rico for a little bit when I was a little baby. It was only for about a year or so, or two years or whatever. But I think I was like two to four, or two to five. But you see, I can't ever get the exact dates and times in this stuff. I really wish I just knew my own history, man, because I kind of, I probably sound stupid talking about it, but whatever. Went to Puerto Rico for a little bit. That's how I learned Spanish. So I come back here, come back to Lawrence. I was about anywhere from like three to six. I can't call it whatever. I'm not gonna look. I'm not gonna like think too deeply about that. But um, when I was in Puerto Rico, I was with my grandmother, and um, we lived in this little town called Peña Pobre, which means like a uh, a poor province or whatever. And I would go back and forth actually throughout my childhood to Puerto Rico and then back to Lawrence. Uh, you know, my mom and dad split, obviously, so they were living in different places, and um, my mom moved. The first place I can ever recall her moving to was to Nashua, and when she moved, honestly, man, I had to I had to go with her. I was old enough. I was like nine years old when she like finally moved out to Nashua. Um, I was old enough to understand what's going on here. Like, I can't grow up in this town or, you know, around these certain people, or I might... You know, I'm. It's not gonna be good for me. Yeah, I. I was really. I don't know. I wasn't about that life ever. I really was not ever about any kind of crazy stuff. Even if I ever did any crazy stuff like that, you know, it was just me being stupid. Uh, but anyway, you know, we move out to Nashua. Boom! It was over like, by, by exit one, Spickbrook Road or whatever. Uh, from there. Where do we move from Nashua? You know, from Nashua, New Hampshire. I think we moved to Lowell from there, you know? And I got family all over Massachusetts and stuff, like Waltham, Lowell, da da da. But, um, but yeah, from Nashua, you know, I went to like elementary school in Nashua. 
It was actually, I remember the the, uh, the elementary school. It was called the Bicentennial. It was actually pretty cool. It was it was it was like a it was an innocent sheltered little thing, whatever. It was elementary school, dude. I think I was like second, third, maybe fourth grade. But then fourth grade, I came out to Lowell, and um, I went to the Robinson, I guess, for fourth grade or fifth grade. It was the Robinson, right? And man, I just moved around so much all over the place, man. From from Lawrence to Puerto Rico to Nashua to Lowell. Then from Lowell to um, Chelmsford. Chelmsford was all right, but it was a weird story, man. You know, we moved out to Chelmsford because my mother got married, you know? And, you know, she had a child with somebody else, da-da-da, got a new husband. Uh, yeah, we lived in Chelmsford, moved around a couple spots in the same town of Chelmsford, which is you know, kind of weird, but they did what they did, and I had no say in anything, so... I can't, I can't say nothing, but, uh, Chelmsford, and then, in Chelmsford, it was this place called Williamsburg, all right, um, uh, off of Wellman Ave, and, um, that was a cool little community, it was like a little, it was, it, it was, a, it was a suburban town, man, it was bland, there wasn't much to do, I was about 12 to what, 11 to 13-ish, you know, from there, we stayed in that Chelmsford area, um, moved to North Chelmsford, like, right up the street from the place that we just moved up the street from, Chelmsford, weird, we just moved around so much, after that, her and her new husband split, her being my mother, da-da-da, and her husband, then we moved right up the street to Tingsboro, and this was about high school time, that, you know, it's, there was a lot of stuff that happened in between here, but high school time, boom, we moved to Tingsboro, and I'm in, um, I was a freshman at a certain high school, I don't know if I want to reveal that, the high school I went to, I'll talk about it in a future video, but you know, from freshman year to junior year, I lived in a, oh man, did I live, from freshman year to sophomore year, I lived in Tingsboro, Massachusetts, it's hard remembering this stuff off the top of my head because it was just so much. I can't even barely remember. But as you can see, like I basically came up around Essex and Middlesex County, that whole you know Merrimack Valley area, including Lawrence, Lowell, Nashua, Tingsboro, Chelmsford, da 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 da. Some places better than others. Still kind of, um, still kind of low low income type of stuff, but. You know, my mother did a very good job, and her story is amazing too. I gotta tell her story, man. Her story is great. Um, it's a really motivational thing. But anyway, Tingsboro. From Tingsboro, we ended up moving back. She ended up getting back with her husband for a little bit. Okay. After the, um, it was just insane. And then when she got back with her husband, this is when I just got my license. I was around 16 years old, so whatever. You know, me and him didn't really get along, um, but I got no hard feelings for the guy. He was a good dude. I was a crazy kid. He didn't want to take, you know, someone else's son and take responsibility for that. So I understand. But um, what happened? We moved back with dude, and then all of a sudden he was just like, "F y'all, you need to get out." Boom. Basically, he told us to get our stuff and get out now. And I took it to, I took, you know, I guess I took it to heart. I don't know if he was being serious, but I took him seriously. You know, he was the type of dude that you take serious. So I, boom, I came to this exact place, but I was next door. There were tenants in this apartment. I was next door in their basement, unfinished fiberglass, um, whatever, like real unfinished. And it was rough, man. We were homeless for about like six months, chilling over there on that side with our family. Uh, after that, Somehow, my mother saved up some money. Boom, gets a house in Westford. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. At, at this point, I'm about a junior in high school, 16. And then since then, ever since I was like 17-ish, 17, 18-ish, I, you know, I can't get the exact dates and ages or whatever, but 16, 17-ish, we moved to Westford. And that's a whole that's a whole story within itself. Like I gotta organize all this stuff. But this is this is where I'm from. This is how I came up, where I lived, 
And, uh, you know, obviously where you're from influences the kind of person you are and stuff. So this is me. I'm 978ERIC. My, my area code has always been 978 on any phone number I ever had, except for like the one year I lived in uh, Nashua, 603. I think we still had 978 numbers in, when we were in Nashua. I think I still remember my first phone number was 978-866-2190. I'll never forget that phone number. But um, but yeah, this is me. I'm 978ERIC. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please you know, feel free to like and subscribe. You don't got to. Uh, feel free to talk trash down there in the comments. You know, g Give me some criticism. Tell me what I'm doing. You know, Am I annoying? What's good? What's going on with me? Just let me know. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this going. Thank you.